Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today as you can see we are having some more fun, some more fighting because I have been saying it all the time, Call of Dragons is having one of the best uh, combat gameplay in any Kingdom Builder games. So far as you can see uh, my alliance still helps pirates we are trying to move across this uh, keep and of course enemy is defending the bridge and of course i will be trying to get as much merits as possible because as i have been saying even as a free to play player you are going to get merits in this game depending how you play depending how you in general know how to fight even against tier 5 players so let's fight and let's understand how we are going to get merits in this game right uh, as always i will try my best to target as much mage players as possible because i'm playing with long range warfare and long range warfare is like accessible and great whenever you are fighting against range players and yeah if you are marksman your perfect target is always to target mages because they have the lowest amount of defense out of any uh like other legions and then you are going to deal a lot of damage unfortunately in this case i can only hit this tank player but uh, let's hope that in any situation we will be we will have a chance to hit some backline because that's where we are getting some merits right of course my every single artifact in the autocast because right now it's pretty hard to click on the artifact then it's pretty hard to uh, make your legion move as you want so that's why whenever there is a big fight i always try to be uh, to have like autocast on my artifacts because that's the safest bet because uh, staying alive longer in this kind of fights is the most important in my opinion right uh, longer you will stay alive more chances you will have to get more merits and that's the way to go that's how i generally play in almost every single fight uh, why i'm in a zoomed out um battlefield like gameplay simply because it's like 10 times easier for me to understand what i'm hitting how to do uh, the merit farm and how to play in, in general the call of dragons whenever there is a lot of legions around the battlefield right right now i'm trying my best to move my legions to the other side uh, where my alliance members are that's like main point but unfortunately i'm 100 percent sure that i will get hit by a lot of legions and yeah that's what actually happened my walder is almost done and yeah i guess we won't gonna count walder damage whenever we're gonna check the merits because my main idea here was to simply just move across and to just fight with my alliance members because whenever you are a free to play player your best bet is to hide behind your alliance members and fight like that because if you get get targeted that means you are going to die there is a lot of tier 5 players against us so it won't gonna be that easy to fight and not gonna be that easy to survive right uh, i'm trying to move away my marksmen because like they are getting targeted and also i'm always trying to click on cavalry players simply because they are always rushing and they are always uh, dying pretty fast right that's another way how you can generate a lot of merits just simply choosing your targets choosing what's the best for you and try to survive as much as possible i guess it was not that the best decision to move my legions in this direction well i will try my best to get as much merits as possible out of this fight but something tells me that the merit amount won't be like a lot uh, simply because i made a couple of mistakes i thought the best possible way for fighting in this kind of fights was to just stay here but i guess it was not the best moment i should have waited for some more time for some more allies because we are getting destroyed in this choke point and i guess this choke point was only for now flyers not for the land units right as always i'm still trying to deal damage to the enemy backline and i think i still got some good merits out of this fight but not the merits i was looking for so right now i will just wait until my legions will go home and 
get back to the battlefield and try to get some more uh, meanwhile we can always check um, how much merits we got even this even with the wrong uh, standing like yeah 10,000 more than 10,000 merits for like almost every single legion like of course my walder and railing died pretty fast because I tried to move so like we died like in two minutes and we have like 10k merits right that's already great now let's try to play more cautious and I will be sending my legions back again and I will try my best to survive longer and like I will try my best to have yellow merits because this is the, always the goal to get yellows on your merit score whenever you're opening your report uh, that always brings smile on your face that means that you understood that you did pretty well in these fights right let's wait for a couple of seconds until my legions will be back home and I will be sending more and of course as I said I will be trying to be more cautious because whenever you are surviving longer that's how you are getting more and more merits in this kind of fights right uh, my legions are on the way i think this bridge is getting broken because there is like a glitch yeah like finally i can see the uh, bridge here and yeah let's move my legions here and i will try my best to survive longer and to get more merits out of this fight um, unfortunately uh, in one day we will have like a merit, a merit shop refresh and then i will be able to get some more elixirs for now my elixirs are almost zero so i should not be paying too much attention of to my hospital because i will have enough time to heal my troops more and more uh, my best legion here my best free to play legion is my nico and kinara simply because my kinara is the only awakened uh, legendary hero it's pretty well known it's so hard to awaken legendary heroes for the free to play players that's why making correct choices in terms of who you are going to spend your legendary tokens is really important and as i as i have said before understanding which would be your preferable uh like legion type in the game is also really important to know right uh, yeah we are having a lot of bugs in this fight simply because it's not showing whenever i zoom in it's not really showing uh, what we are attacking uh, also i'm not sure why my legions are moving so up because whenever i zoom in it says that they are pretty close i mean the enemies right I guess we're gonna do something like this we don't care about bridge we care about only our enemies and let's try to survive longer uh, because that's the only way for us to get more merits whenever you are free to play player right there, there will be like a lot of enemies who has way more uh, stats way more tier 5 players way more players in general that's why uh, surviving is the mandatory in this kind of fights and that's the gameplay you should play and try to survive try to understand that dealing more damage does not really mean that you are going to get more merits uh, simply because uh, like surviving makes you deal more damage right like even uh, mana stones i've always preferred hp mana stones simply because it was another way for me to survive in this kind of fights unfortunately we don't have any infantry and as i have said before uh infantry is one of the most important legion types in the game especially if you are a tier 5 player your infantries are determined like how the fight will go on if you will win or not right simply because if you don't have any infantry it's almost impossible to push or even defend because fights are de dependent on infantry players they are so tanky that they can get focus of lot of members and that's how you can manage to push throughout the any situation right um yeah my alliance started this tom vanguard which means that we are going to have more stats in this push and let's see how we are going to manage to do that unfortunately uh this bridge glitch is not doing amazingly for us simply because sometimes i can't even see i see that my units are moving on the water which simply should not work like that but let's not think about it let's just try to deal damage in this kind of fights right i'm waiting for my alliance members to move in because we don't have any infantry here uh, we don't have anyone to tank our uh, 
uh, legions because if enemy has easy access to the uh, front line and back line of our legions then you are not going to deal any damage that's that's the way i see almost every single fight right you need to have some kind of defense in front of you in order for you to be free and in order for you to deal some damage i don't know what this guy is doing he's giving us some free hits uh, which is always good to see and unfortunately i do see enemies throwing a lot of artifacts towards our place that's why we are just going to move back and just click on this infantry it's pretty funny that we are fighting on the water uh, unfortunately this is like small glitch which we are seeing right here but yeah like let's not take too much attention to this glitch and let's try to get some merits now unfortunately there is only one target for us to deal damage right now which is enemy infantry and hoping that our infantry will move up in, like at some point and we will be more free more open to deal some damage to the enemies right yeah like my glitch is just working wonders i'm not sure how the legions are moving up and down uh, it's so hard to understand where is my alliance members it's so hard to understand who we are clicking because this bridge glitch is just ruining everything right um, so far uh, we managed to stay, stay alive longer uh, i do see my rally our our alliance rally with the uh, infantry and yeah finally we have some infantry which we're gonna follow and to try to deal some damage uh, finally yeah like this is what i said infantry is one of the most crucial hero per hero pairs and like gameplay uh, mechanics in this game without good infantry it's really really hard to deal any damage in this game so try to move forward with your infantry players because they are really crucial uh, if you don't have any infantry it will be almost impossible to do anything in this kind of fights right uh, the fight is pretty interesting with a lot of glitches with a lot of legions around the battlefield uh, as i can see we are trying our best to move towards this tower uh, which should not be easy uh, simply because enemy has a big front line around us and they are just trying to throw as much artifacts as possible in this game right let's hope and let's move towards this place right yeah i kind of made it happen like last time we lost Waldir there but this time we managed to get every single legion alive like we will try i will try my best to have more uh, merits from this fight because the yeah, enemy was trying to build or destroy our tower and right now our main goal is to defend this tower so we will have the land uh, of course as i have said it many times so whenever you are fighting it's really important to fight on your territory simply because you are getting too much buffs uh, too much important buffs and those buffs are help helping you to defeat enemies and get more and more merits i got lucky that i still have my four legions alive because whenever we moved through this line enemy had a free hit towards us so it was like kind of painful to watch how my legions were getting hit and how it was so hard for me to move away right um like i'm already happy that we managed to stay alive in this like cool battlefield it's really hard to move around it's really hard to click on the big line and also we need to mention that i'm fighting against tier 5 players and yeah like tier 5 players is always hard to fight with because you are getting a lot of counter attack damage you are not all like you you're almost not dealing damage to them uh, you are just helping your alliance members to deal damage and that's the gameplay you should be playing with right yeah finally i do see some cavalry players uh, whenever cavalry player is rushing it's a perfect target which i have mentioned many many times whenever you see calves just try to click on the icon and you will be you will seeing how fast they die how easy it is to just focus them in the battlefield and that's why i have been saying uh, many many times that uh, cavalry players need some more love in terms of gameplay in wars because it's like it's just too useless you're just gonna move forward you're just gonna rush and that's all what you can do uh, simply because you don't have enough survivability you don't have enough damage to focus somebody um, and that's like weakest point of the gameplay you can play with calves during the big wars right 
finally we managed to transfer almost all of our legions like the important legions which we needed to do um, like mainly infantry because infantry is mandatory whenever you are pushing and finally yeah i understand my legions are almost gone but still it, it it's it's fine i guess because if i will just move my legions backwards and i will try to refill it will mean that uh yeah my legions will just die and it will be worthless to just refill them right so let's try to make the best use out of them of course even if your legion is low it means that you can still use your artifacts and for me i think artifacts is one of the biggest source of getting merits in this in this game because i'm still not tier 5 i'm i'm tier 4 my stats are way weaker so uh, my artifacts are my biggest source of damage whenever you are fighting in big wars finally we managed to push through which means we have a good access to the backline of the enemy uh, we managed to defeat like their infantry which was the most important thing because they were like defending this bridge so much that we even lost a lot of legions uh, trying to move through the bridge right right now we will just buy some time until our players will try to uh, build the tower uh, buying time means just destroying the enemies so yeah i think i'm 100 percent sure we had way more merits in this fight than uh, before and also in this fight we were attacking a lot more infantry but still i believe that uh, staying alive is more uh, important than dealing damage uh, simply because if you will just tr just die pretty fast you won't gonna have enough chance enough uh, opportunities to deal damage and in the end staying alive makes you more merits than doing anything else in this kind of fights um, as i have said it before my best performing march this season have been my craig and stia with wyverns which is pretty surprising because at the start of the season i it was my first time having awakened the legendary hero which is uh, Nico, Nico and Kinara and Kinara is awakened and I thought that legion would be the best choice in terms of merits but um, I got really surprised whenever I understood that almost every single fight we are doing my uh, Craig and Thea have been the best performing marches uh, which is really really surprising and Thea is not awakened that's the best point I want to mention uh, of course Craig is awakened but Thea is not that's why I did not really expect my Craig and Thea to be so powerful. I guess it's simply because um, Thea is so important and giving so much buff that it makes every single legion, everything, every single hero that much stronger, right? I guess I will try to play a little bit aggressive here because yeah, my legions are already pretty low and uh, it doesn't really matter how much I will stay alive, I will do way lower and lower damage in terms of pure numbers and it's well known that whenever you have low amount of units in your uh, legion uh, you are getting more severely wounded troops and your legion is dealing less and less damage. Um, I hope um, this fun, this uh, fight was pretty uh, good to look at because it's been pretty epic for my side. I hope you guys will like this gameplay because as I, as I have said it before uh, Call of Dragons is having one of the best, if not the best, Kingdom Builder combat gameplay uh, which I have ever seen in any Kingdom Builder games. That's why whenever, like I always suggest you just stop farming whenever there is a chance of fighting, try to do your best, try to be there always because that's the most fun you can get out of this game. Finally, my legions are done. I will check hospital. Yeah, already a lot of uh, wounded troops, but what's important in our case is the merit score. And yeah, as I have said it before, if you will just stay alive, you will get more and more merits. And we see three yellow merits, right? For my Syndrome and Fregar, it's like free to play Syndrome and Fregar with 5 1 1 1 with uh, Heart of Gamasi, which means more defensive style. That's why we have way less merits on this Sin Frey. But yeah, as I have mentioned, Craig and Thea, 70k, 60k my Nico and Kinara, and my Walder and Welling, 80. Uh, the reason why my Walder and Welling has the most amount of merits in this fight is because of the Phoenix Eye and the artifact damage, which you can deal damage to four legions, and that's the best way of getting merits with the artifacts, right? That's why I always have my artifacts on the autocast, simply because it's just too much to take care whenever you are fighting against so many legions on the battlefield. 
uh, yeah that was the main fight i hope it was interesting i hope you guys liked it because i think uh watching call of dragons gameplay is most uh, most fun and most enjoyable thing which you can watch on youtube uh, and as always if you guys like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck